So, continue tayo sa sum of infinite geometric progression. So, bali yung formula na gagamitin natin dito is just the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So, pag sinabi natin infinite, that is walang katapusang ano, no? na geometric progression series. Okay? So, example tayo, meron tayong side of a square. That is 10 meter. Then, yung second square is formed by joining in the proper order. The midpoints of the sides of the first square. Then, a third square is formed by joining the midpoints of the second square, and so on. So, find the sum of all the sides of this square. Okay. So, bali dito meron tayong square. Then, sa square na ito, uh, i-connect doon natin yung mga midpoints nila. Na? So, let's say ito yan. And yan. And then yan. And then yan. Na? And then, connect doon natin yung midpoint na ulit nila sa so second square and then yung midpoint ulit nito 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 and so on and so forth okay so, midpoint nyo ulit. And then, midpoint nyo ulit. Yung ganyan, ha? So, I think nakukuha nyo na yung point. Okay. So, yung distance na to, we have 10. We have 10. And dito rin, square man to. So, ibig sabihin 10 din yun sa, ka, sa kabilang side. So, kung midpoint nya to, so ibig sabihin yung distance na to patungo dito is also 5 and 5. So, kung midpoint nya to, ganun din. No? So, meron tayong 5 and 5. So, take note yung pinahanap sa atin is yung sum ng mga sides. Ng lahat ng square. So, sum. So, we have the first term and 1 minus r. So, yung first term natin is sides man, no? So, meron tayong 10. And for the second term is probably ito yan, no? Kukomputin lang natin yan. That is just square root ng 5 squared plus the 5 squared. So, we have 5 square root of 2. So, therefore, yung region nito is 5 square root of 2 all over 10. So, that is 1 over square root of 2. So, therefore, yung sum ng lahat ng sides is we have 10... 1 minus the r, which is 1 over the square root of 2. So, therefore, yung sakat nito is we have 10 all over 1 minus the 1 over square root of 2, and that is just equal to 34.14. Huh? So, 34.14 meters. So, yan na yung sabat. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung sum ng infinite uh, geometric progression. So, next problem is uh, a rubber ball is dropped from a height of 60 meter. Okay, so same siya nung dati nating problem. So, bali meron tayo ditong ball. Yung height nito is meron tayong 60. Na? So, bali magda-drop yan. Then, mag- mag-rise yan. Na? At 2 third nung distance. So, 2 third nung distance nito. Tsaka 2 third nung distance nito. So, it rises 2 third of the height.
na okay. So, mag-raise to ng 2 third ng height. And then, dito rin. Mag-raise siya ng 2 third ng height. 2 third ng height, 2 third ng height, 2 third, 2 third, 2 third, hanggang mag-stop siya. Okay. So, yung tinatanong niya, ano daw yung distance travel ng ball before it comes to rest. So, ito yung tinatanong niya. So, ito yung starting point. 60 plus. Yung ito, plus nito. Ha? Plus nito, plus nito, plus nito, plus nito, plus nito. Hanggang mag-stop siya. So, yun yung tinatanong. So, bali, yung total distance para makuha natin yan is just yung 60 plus yung sum nung infinite uh, geometric progression okay and alam natin ito 2 third daw yung rest nya so 2 third nung 60 that is 40 yeah? so ganun din yung ifall nya yeah? 2 third din ng 60 so therefore yung first term nya is just 80 pag, pag dito naman yung rest nya ulit 2 third nung nung 40. So, therefore, 2 third ng 2 third ng 40 uh, that is equal to 26.67 then, yung ifall nya then is also 2 third ng 40 so, therefore, that is also 26.67 so, yung second term is just twice ng 26.67 so, we have now the second term and that is 2 times 26.67 therefore we have 53.34 okay so ibig sabihin mo kung natin yung common ratio na lang ayan no? which is a2 over a1 so we have 53.34 all over the 80 so 53.34 all over 80 that is 0 0.667 so masolve na natin to so, we have 60 plus the first term all over 1 minus the R. So, 60 plus, first term is we have 80. All over 1 minus 0 point. Hindi siya kasya. Pakasyahin natin. So, we have sum ng infinite geometric progression. We have 60. Yung sum ng infinite geometric geometric progression that corresponds to rebound na, na. Then, we have the first term all over 1 minus R. So, therefore, this is 60 plus the first term we have 80. And 1 minus 0 0.667. So, therefore, yung S total is just equal to 60 plus 80 all over 1 minus the 0 0.667. And that is now 300 meters. So, ito na yung Ito na yung sabat. Okay, so I hope uh, naiintindihan yung uh, sum ng infinite geometric progression. Okay? So, yun lang guys. So, continue na lang tayo sa next pa na videos. Thank you.